Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Lee with Century 21 Soaring Associates. It's so good to be able to spend a minute with you today talking about six reasons that we are not in a housing crisis like in 2008. That's a dog, by the way, not an artist. All right, reason number one, appreciation, 2008. We saw appreciation at a staggered rate, just staggering uh, all the way up to 2015. Appreciation was just unsustainable. What we've experienced since 2015 is sustainable. 1%, 1.5%, 2% as we go to 2020. So no mind-blowing appreciation. Reason number two that we're not experiencing a housing crisis. Lenders, no more ninja loans. Rates are uh, looking really re realistic. They have qualified buyers and they're further regulated by the government so that we're not overextending borrowers. Number three that we're not, low inventory. If you remember in 2008, for sale signs up and down the road, buyers, very quiet. So right now we're exp experiencing under six months inventory, which indicates it is a seller market. Uh, our numbers right now actually are three months or less. That's another video. HELOCs, reason number four that we're not experiencing a housing crisis. No over leveraging of equity. So I buy a house for $100,000. In six months, the value's increased. Now it's worth $120,000. I borrow that money from the house's value and I've over leveraged my equity. We're not seeing that. Reason number five, we're not in a housing crisis. This is a manually caused economic situation. So the current administration thought it was the best thing to do for the country to put the pause button and not send people to work. This is a button that we've turned off. This is a button that we're gonna turn back on. And this is my favorite. This is absolutely my favorite. I saved this one for last. Number six, why we are not in a housing crisis, home equity strength. That means you buy a home for $100,000, what you have paid for, what you owe the bank. So over 50% of folks in America own over 50% of their home. So that means I have a home at $100,000, I only owe $50,000 on it. And over 37% of Americans have 100% equity in their home. So that means I bought a home for $100,000, I paid it off and or it's worth one twenty, dollars and I only owe twenty dollars on it. More if you want a longer class on that, but I didn't want to bore you. But um, again, six reasons that we are not experiencing a housing crisis. Lee with Century 21 at Gmail. I was challenged to make this within a minute. I hope I'm there. Check us out at Facebook, Instagram, or call me for professional comments on your specific area. Lee with Century 21. Hope you're doing well. See you next time.